Here we are at the EcoSense chicken coop. Call it Smiling Beaks B and B. We've got 13 chickens. You can hear them there a little bit. This little chicken coop was built partially out of recycled materials. It has an earthen plaster on the outside. And on top, it's got a living roof, which uh, in the springtime is absolutely covered in beautiful little wildflowers. And that living roof, it actually acts a, acts to filter rainwater because these. This chicken coop actually has a, a rainwater harvesting system. There's a little uh, tank over there, about a thousand liters. It's a recycled vinegar container. So the rainwater is filtered through there. No gutters to ever clean. Really straightforward. No maintenance. Gotta love that. This chicken coop also has a couple other unique features. If you look just up the hill here, we've got uh, some solar panels. And those solar panels actually uh, they charge up some used car batteries that are under the chicken coop and uh, what they do is they are connected to a 12 volt DC timer which is on the side of the chicken coop. Let's go have a look at it. There, there's the 12 volt timer we can set it to do all kinds of different things. And right now we've got it set more on the uh, fall cycle, which is to control an LED light inside the chicken coop. It's quite a bright one that comes off and on and it extends their daylight hours so they actually lay eggs a lot more into the winter season. That's great. So in the summertime when they don't need the light, what we do is it uh, we uh, have it control a uh, DC fan so it keeps the air in the chicken coop nice and fresh. And the fan is up there. So, in here I'm going to open up the chicken coop. It's got a great big door so it's really easy to get inside and clean. Hope I don't interrupt anybody laying an egg in here. There's the chicken coop. We've got a big long window in there. And uh, the chickens roost over here. They sit there. And uh, all their, their chicken droppings land in the bottom there. And I can clean that out quite easily and I compost it. But the beauty is that they walk in over here, in that little door, which we can close in the winter when it's really cold. They walk in there and they climb up into their roost. So they're never actually walking through the pile of uh, chicken manure. So it keeps their feet really clean. And over here is all the egg boxes. We have nine egg boxes. And we'll go around the other side because we have a door that opens up. Oh, somebody's come to say hi. They're extremely friendly. Chickens. Happy chickens. See ya! And we'll see you around the other side. I'm going to close this door. We've made our chicken coop really, really well protected from mink and uh, raccoons and everything like that. There's where the rainwater goes into there. And then we have a buried irrigation or a rainwater pipe that goes underground here and goes to their sink. And you can see it there. And we're going to go in the chicken coop here and there's their sink of water and it has a little float switch in it so whenever I clean it out because as you can see chickens have a bad habit of standing the wrong way around their little uh, water dish oh they're all coming running now look at them so when I drain that out it goes and it waters a fig tree and the fig tree is then fertilized with the chicken manure tea and uh, grows up and produces it's going to grow up and provide shade for the chickens and protection from predators because we've got a lot of eagles and hawks around here plus the chickens eat the bugs and they'll get to eat the figs that land on the ground and we get to have the figs and we get to have the eggs so everybody kind of benefits from that it's full system integration so right now we're in the this what we call the safe run which is basically Fort Knox it's got a chain link recycled chain link fence a whole bunch of chicken wire quarter inch chicken wire on it and uh, tried to make it impermeable to everything and everything's buried way down into the ground it's uh they're quite happy chickens as you can see and they got their feeder here and uh we keep it full of food so they eat as much as they want what do you guys want you're very friendly so we're gonna go out and see them in the field if I can sneak out without them following me. No, stay. They don't listen. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I was going to show you the chicken laying boxes. Right here, we've got multiple locks on it. The raccoons around here are really smart. Right there. And we got one up here. And then we got chickens in here. So we got really good access. Oh, there's somebody in there. And we get about eight eggs a day, so we're doing pretty good. Eight to ten eggs a day. Sorry, they get grumpy when you interrupt them when they're laying an egg. I'll lock that up in a sec here. Let's go down into the chicken run. So during the day, the chickens have the run of about half an acre here. And this was damaged land already. So I gotta be careful I don't step on a chicken there. Like I said, really friendly. Oh, look at that. They're having dirt baths. It's really cute. They like to lay sideways in the dirt. It's one of the ways that they keep themselves clean, believe it or not, is by rolling around in the dirt and getting all that stuff in their feathers, getting the dirt in their feathers and stuff. It makes it so they don't have any mites. If you notice, our chickens are extremely healthy looking and their butts are not tall caked in poo or anything. They just get to be chickens. They eat a lot of bugs. And you gotta like happy chickens. Because happy chickens make healthy eggs and we feel better about it. They got a good life. And here's the uh, little fig tree. It's watered with that and it's doing really well. Look at all the little baby figs on that. So this won't take it very long to get really big. It's gonna be huge in no time. And over here we got lots of blackberries and the chickens love blackberries. They've got a whole area to run around. The kids have strung up some metal pie plates and stuff because we do have uh, lots of hawks and eagles and stuff like that. So down in this run as well we also have uh, a walnut, two walnut trees, a plum tree and four hazelnuts. And they're all watered with grey water from the house. So it really is a, a system integration where everything is connected for mutual benefit. The chickens benefit, they get a great life. It was built on a previously impacted site with a lot of recycled materials. We get eggs, chickens get bugs, we get nuts and plums and figs and all kinds of stuff. Everybody's happy. And the dogs, they don't hurt the chickens at all. They quite like them. So that's good. And uh, we're the, we've actually had a big mouse problem this year. We've never had that before, but the chickens actually eat a lot of mice. I've seen it with my own eyes. I'm running around with a mouse hanging from its tail. But what the theory is with them is during the daylight hours, chickens are actually pretty uh, confident and aggressive. And what they do, if anything comes into their coop and they don't like it, they'll chase it down and hunt it like a rat or other rodents. Not like a raccoon or something like that, but a mink or anything like that. A mink is only a problem in the uh, night. That's why we lock them up really tight. As well, we don't... Uh, we'll probably have a problem with squirrels when the nuts start getting mature on the, on the nut trees. But we're hoping that the chickens during the daylight will chase away the squirrels. Because they're not very big. So chickens are really aggressive that way. We don't have any roosters at this point. We did before. We had lots of roosters. And then a mink got in and got everybody. So we're learning. It's a learning process. I think they're scared of the camera. Give them a blackberry. They'll come running. There's a plum tree. There's Tilly up there. A neighbor's dog. Beautiful dog. She spends a good part of the day here most days. She likes chickens too. Hey, that's it for the chicken coop.